you, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm Alina. Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. A little bit of context of what's going on. Tino and I are in Atlanta and we're getting up for a shoot that we're gonna be doing tomorrow. And right now we're just at a really huge prop shop trying to find the correct props, the right props that we're gonna be using for this video. And this is just a bunch of craziness here. Like we got a throne right there. Um, That's better than a chair and studio space. All these, all these really ones. huge gorilla back there. It's just a bunch of stuff. These are tight though. These are like more of a actual royal vibe. We got like pillars right there. And it's just a bunch of stuff. So we're trying to find a bed to get transported to the studio that we're going to be filming at. Yeah, and we're just looking at a bunch of random stuff right now. We got a... This is cool. I like this. This, um... I like this. I like this. I wonder how much this is. Yeah. I like this. I'm going to write that down. Man. I might want that. Oh! Sorry for the audio, I don't have my microphone with me, but it is now 7 a.m. and I'm up in the lobby of my hotel trying to complete the shot list for this video that I'm gonna be shooting today. So this is a little bit hectic, man, but it just goes to show how crazy and last minute and spontaneous videos can be. I just booked my flight ticket here two days ago, flew in yesterday, had to hit the prop shop to get props made for the video. And we're gonna be shooting today in a couple of hours. So I'm putting together all the shot lists putting together the lighting setups that we're going to be doing, uh, the different B-roll shots that I'm going to be wanting to get at the studio because we only have six hours in there, so we're going to have to be moving fast, setting up the different lighting setups, and just moving through this as smooth as possible. So, writing it down, making sure we get everything we need, but uh, just having it flow as smooth as possible. But this hotel that I'm at is freaking fire. Like, this whole setup in here is just crazy. Like, everything is so modern. can't even explain it. A lot of stuff going on here, man. But uh, we're shooting for T. Crook, so it's not like a new artist, a new musician. He knows what he's getting into, and uh, that's one of the benefits of working with people that you've already worked with before. It's not pressure, you know what I mean? It's just, we cool, we all know what's up, and uh, he's gonna follow the direction to some extent. He's always making my life super hard. Like, he hit me up yesterday morning before I got on a flight and said, hey bro, we need a bed for the video. Like, how crazy is that? I'm going to a different state, I don't know what's going on, and I had to scramble up a bed and get it delivered to the studio that we're going to be shooting at by in less than 24 hours. Like, that's crazy. But I'm going to get to the shot list and I'll check y'all out in a little bit.
that's the scarf you got. Okay. Yeah. Niggas back on the old shit. <laughs> okay. The old shit. Woo. It's icy out here right now, man. I'm out here with Tino and uh, the homie Juan. Tino's doing a video shoot right now. I'm just out here helping out, doing what I can for lighting and just suggestions. Just being here on set. Yeah, we shooting the homie Juan. Yo, Juan. What's going on, man? Yo, where can they check you out at? Check me out at Dr. Juan Ski. That's at D-R-J-U-A-N-S-K-I on Instagram, Twitter. I don't really do the Facebook thing too much, but you yeah. can follow me on YouTube, especially. Check my videos out. Follow these guys a lot. They dope, man. Check them out. For sure, for sure. Yeah, he's dope, man. He does a lot of different stuff. Music, uh, music, um, music, <laughs> camera stuff as well, photography. You DJ a little bit too, man. You do a little bit of everything, right? Everything, man. A little bit purpose. Of one yeah. stop shop, baby. Yeah. It's, all this stuff relates to each other in a, little, in, a, in a little sense, you know what I mean? People don't really get it, but it does, like the whole photography. Typically, people who do photography kind of interested in graphics and kind of interested in video, too. It's just like a multimedia type of thing, man. So I get it, for sure, for sure. Yeah, we're on campus right now. What is this? This is Hampton University? Yeah, HU, Hampton University, yeah. man. Shout out to Pirates, you know what I'm saying? 757. Shout out my boy Tino, too. He did my last video. Make sure y'all go check that yeah. out on my page as well. Yeah, I'm going to link that. Uh, actually, click above, because that video is pretty fire, y'all. Tino just showed it to me today. I hadn't even saw it. Oh, for real? Yeah. Been yeah. Two months. Yeah, 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 I hadn't even seen That joint's dope, yeah. Yeah, the concept on this fire, y'all. So, yeah, just click above on the info card. I'm going to definitely link that up there for y'all to check it out. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a tight video. Um, a lot of people always ask what Tino stuff at, man. What are you doing behind the scenes? But go up there. Hopefully, he'll start uploading everything to his channel. Or, I don't know. Follow him on Instagram. Definitely follow Tino if y'all not already. But, but we out here at the University. There's a bunch of dope stuff out here. Like this whole little background up here is mad urban. And then we got water right here. It's just... A perfect clash of scenery, man. We got this right here, which looks mad cool. Um, but it's not the freshest water in the world. It's kind of green. And then you go over here, and then this is like mad urban. And you know, it's just the perfect balance. But yeah, we out here. It's kind of cold, but it ain't that cold. It's, it's decent. It's decent. It's bearable right now. I've been looking forward to this package for like three weeks now. I ordered this like three weeks ago, and it finally came in the mail. And it's been sitting in the box for a few days now, so figured I'd give you all another unboxing experience. I figured you all liked the last unboxing I did, but regardless, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna try to not make this that long, try to get through this as fast as possible. And then we're gonna set up what is in this box so I can show you how it looks all assembled. So this is my new shoulder rig. Now y'all see me, y'all see me in tons of videos talking about my favorite stabilizer is the shoulder rig, but you guys always see me using the Ronin and then it just doesn't make sense. So the only reason I really haven't been using a shoulder rig for the longest period of time is because I just haven't had a good quality one. The last shoulder rig that I had, I had for about five or six years now. It's lost the handle, it has one handle. It's all over the place. So these little pieces right here are all little, additions to the shoulder rig that I'm building. This is all from Small Rig. I pay for this. This is no sponsorship, none of that. This is all my money. So I'm gonna go over what I got and uh, I'm gonna assemble it and show you all how this looks assembled. So you can see right here, this is gonna be the pad that's gonna go over the shoulder. These are some rails right here. And I needed some rails because I didn't necessarily wanna take the ones from my last rig. I just wanted to start everything fresh and new. I just wanna, I just wanna have something new, man. I just wanna feel like I'm not using that old crappy shoulder rig that I had. And no knocks to that because it did the job and it did what it needed it to do, but I needed something more quality. So I got this and I picked this up on Black Friday and I got this for an amazing deal at the time, but the fact that I got it on Black Friday caused me to wait so long for it because it turned out getting sold out. So they had to get a new shipment of this page that I wanted for my GA5 and in turn, I had to wait for it. So it's all good though, it's all good. I just wanna show you all every little piece of this. So if you're interested in getting a rig like this, you have to actually see what you're getting yourself into. It's not coming assembled or nothing like that. Let's fast forward through this. So these are all of the individual components of the shoulder rig, and this is what you'd be looking at if you were looking to build a similar configuration to what I have. These are the handles that are gonna connect to 
uh, this little connector right here. I believe this is called a rosette. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I don't know how to pronounce that word. This is the top handle that's gonna go on the top of the cage. Shoulder mount that's gonna go on your shoulder, of course. This is gonna connect the cage to the rails on the bottom. And uh, the rails are gonna connect the handles to the actual cage. And this is a monitor mount, so you can uh, mount your monitor off to the side. So aside from this, I have a file focus as well. And it's in another box in another room. I'll show you all how to get all of this completely set up. But I'm gonna switch over to the 5D so I can show you all how the GH5 looks inside of this because of course I'm filming on the GH5 right now. This is a 27 minute recording, holy crap, 27 minutes. So for the most part, I have this assembled. I don't have my wires and stuff connected. I got it to how I would use it on a set. I have a few things that I would need to adjust, like this monitor mount isn't really working how I would love it to work, but it's decent for the moment and I'll go through and I'll readjust all of these things. So I wanna go over a few of the things that are really dope about the shoulder rig that I built, uh, some of the things that I really love about um, this and why I picked this configuration and why I built it this way. So one of the first things that I really love about this is the arms. These arms are by far some of the best arms that I've ever used personally on a shoulder rig. And it's because they have the pivot mounting system and you are able to adjust them at different places instead of just one. So with my other handles that I had on my original one, they were just straight up and down and they would just go onto the front of the rig and you really couldn't adjust them to how you would like to use them and these in turn you can really adjust them to however you would like to use them so so if i wanted to i can just bring this closer to me you can see like right there say i wanted to have this one closer to my chest area and have this one further out i could do that or i could bring it all the way out i have the ability to adjust it at this pivot point right here as well so if i wanted to uh, go up or down with it as well i can do that so i really love the arms yeah this is dope i love the arms i love the functionality and the different customization that you can do with that. The camera just shut off and I have no clue where they stopped at. So I'm gonna re-go over this other thing that I really love about the shoulder rig, which is the fact that I can really get mobile with this when I want to. So say I just don't need all of the other things, the pads, the handlebars, the follow focus. I can literally just undo this attachment right here at the front of the rig. Take this off and you can see right here i have the cage the camera and the monitor so it's really quick to get really mobile with this if i don't need this at the time or say i'm in a really tight space where this isn't really going to be called for i can just use this get mobile got the top handle i can get my cool down those shots and have the monitor on the side to see what i'm doing so this is really cool there's a few other things that i really love about it but just the cage in itself is really nice to me i like all the mounting points up the side of it so if i really want to get versatile and i really want to customize this to how I want it, I can, and I'm gonna have to because I don't necessarily really like this monitor on the side. I don't know, this is kind of like messing with me, but yeah, man, this is gonna be a work in progress, and this is probably gonna be uh, the stabilizer that I use the most nowadays. You guys hear me always talking about how I love shoulder rigs and how versatile they are. Um, and finally, I have one that I'm happy with. So yeah, this is gonna be used a lot in the near future, so. Y'all see a lot from this and uh, I'm not going to be completely ditching my run and I'm still going to be using it, but I'm going to be using it when it makes sense, not all the time. So this is the shoulder rig. This is my new favorite stabilizer. I don't know. I still got to take it out and test it, but I think that I'm going to love this. I love shoulder rigs. I love handheld movement. I love how real it feels. I love the different moods and feelings that come from using handheld motion and shoulder rig stuff. But before I check out of here, I want to let all y'all know that my digital store, my store is on sale 50% off of everything until New Year's. So this is the holiday sale. I want to say happy holidays to you all, whatever you celebrate, Christmas, Kwanzaa, nothing, whatever. Whatever you celebrate, whatever you don't celebrate, have a happy, good portion of the end of this year, man. This is like the best time. So get in good with family, chill, do your thing. Um, yeah, and if you made it this far throughout this vlog, comment below Happy Holidays YC just to let me know. I just always like to see how engaging you all are to these videos when they're a little bit longer. I'm out, y'all. Peace out, y'all. I'm gonna check y'all out. Have a happy holidays. Appreciate this time with y'all family, man. Peace.